I don't really know what motivated me to get out of my bed and shoot this. I kind of want to give you guys an explanation on to why I probably won't have a video Monday. Um, I, I kind of started YouTube as an escape from my chronic illness and it really helped me um, get through those harder days and I, I feel so dumb doing that. I just want to give you guys an explanation as to why I will not have a video up Monday. Um, this video will be pretty short. It started a couple years ago. Um, I started getting back pain. It kind of sucks when you're a 12 year old girl with back pain, chronic back pain, and people just don't understand what you're going through. A lot of people thought I was just skipping school or just not caring about school and really, I, I really wanted to go to school. I couldn't stand some days. I couldn't bend over some days. I couldn't move some days. It hurt so bad. I had to get a shot in my back, a steroid shot to help it. I had to get multiple MRIs. Nobody could figure out anything, what was going on with me. They did say I had a slip disc the previous year, but it had gone away and they don't understand what was causing that much pain. I was so frustrated in a way because when you're a preteen, essentially, you're not even 15, 16 yet and you have extreme pain, you don't really know how to process that pain. My back got better the summer of my seventh grade year, just because I was laying around all the time, really. When school started back up my eighth grade year, I had severely sprained my ankle. And it seemed to take away from the back pain, but the ankle started hurting too. I went to many doctors. I mean, I, I seriously can't even count how many doctors I went to. I had three rounds of physical therapy, and to this day, my back still hurts, but we have figured out what's causing that pain. I was diagnosed with mitochondrial disease the end of 2017, and it is a genetic mutation that causes me to not have as much energy as everybody else. You may be thinking that has nothing to do with back pain or any other sort of pain, but really it has caused a lot more in my life than just back pain and just tiredness. I have an optic neuropathy gene mutation in the mitochondrial disease spectrum, and that means that I essentially have a very slight chance, but I do have a chance of going blind when I get older. And I could tell my vision is getting a lot worse in the past couple years, but I'm working through that. It's hard to explain. Um, I went to a rheumatologist. I think it was right around when I got diagnosed with mitochondrial disease and they said that I had a pain syndrome called CRPS and that is basically when your nerves it's essentially when your nerves misfire when you get an injury they think it's a bigger injury than it actually is so an example is last February I had stubbed my toe a couple days later I started getting kind of sharp pains in my toe and it turned into, over about a week or so, the worst pain anyone could ever experience. I can't really put into words how much pain I've been in. CRPS, they say, is worse than childbirth, worse than an amputated leg or arm, and it's constant. You're in pain all the time, and I've had to deal with that. I'm, at all times, in pain somewhere, but, um, after I got diagnosed with CRPS and mitochondrial disease, a lot of these symptoms were underlying before I got diagnosed with all of this, but we didn't really think anything about it. My seventh grade year, I had gotten really out of breath. Um, like right now, I'm pretty out of breath just from talking. But I got super out of breath with anything I did, and of course I got out of gym class, and everyone, you know, probably thought that I was just lazy and a slacker and that, oh, she's faking her back pain and just cause she has asthma or something, which I didn't, I just told people I had asthma to mask what was actually going on. I really struggled with this throughout middle school. And once I got into high school, the 
pain got worse. Everything really got amplified. And I had one of the biggest flare-ups of my life. I missed pretty much all of my freshman year of high school, so I didn't I didn't get to experience any of those experiences. I didn't get to experience, you know, the football games and any of the cool things that you do in high school. This year I've been able to go maybe a month total and it's November right now. This year by far has been the worst year for me. I've really struggled this year. I've been in the hospital twice in a span of two months and I, I'm, <laughs> God, I feel stupid. I just want to be normal, but I got to trust in God and I've got to trust in him to bring me through this and spread awareness for mitochondrial disease and CRPS and AMPS and everything that I have. Dysautonomia has just messed with me. I want to go to school. I want to be able to go to all of these games and all of these fun events with my friends, but I always have to cancel because I'm either in pain or I have, or I don't feel good. And this week has been awful. I felt great at the beginning of the week. I was actually going to do a um, shop and say haul for you guys because I was so excited about that. But I'm just going to have to postpone that. I can't bend my arm right now because I have a freaking IV in my arm. I was in the hospital for two weeks total this year. The first time in the hospital was for malnourishment because I wasn't able to eat. I was in so much pain. Um, my stomach still hurts to this day. Um, my stomach has started to flare up with my mitochondrial and pain syndrome. The second time it was from the same pain, but they didn't really do anything about it. So we just left the hospital. I feel worse right now in the past day than I did both times in the hospital. I've woken up like 10 times in the past two nights from super cold just freezing and then I'm burning up and I've had a really bad fever the past couple days and I've been so weak I couldn't get up this morning I couldn't I couldn't stand up I couldn't bend my freaking arm to get up out of the bed I kind of want to use YouTube as a platform to spread awareness for diseases and spread awareness that God can help you. Praying has helped me so much. Reading the Bible has helped me so much throughout my chronic pain journey. I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys that if I don't post sometimes because I did kind of push it on myself to post three times a week to give myself something to do, but sometimes I will, I will be perfectly fine one day like I'll insert a clip from the shop is a thing which was like two days ago it's it's Morgan today I'm going to be putting bee pudding and then a couple days later I'll be so weak I can't get out of the bed so I just want you guys to know that I love you all and I will see you guys later bye